Hi friends! How are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we are here just to make your Friday happy and make, make a card and just chat. Right? And we're just here to have fun. And Ellie is sleepy. <laughs> as usual. Let me check and make sure we're on here, that we're live online on the Facebook page and on uh, YouTube. Let me just get this all handled here. Okay, it looks like we are. Good, excellent. It's good to see you guys today. I hope you've had a really nice Friday. It's the end of the day. I think everywhere it's the end of the day here in Southern California. It's four o'clock and I know on the East Coast it's probably seven o'clock and somewhere in between for others. So I'm happy to see you. I hope you've had a nice week and you're ready for a great weekend. And I hope it involves making cards because that's what I'm going to be doing too, is making some cards. Carol Schaefer, good to see you. Jeanne, Roz, Hooray Friday, Tina from North Carolina. Marsha Long, good to see you. Well, so I'm hoping maybe I can get Ellie just to be a little bit more spunky today. You know, usually she's so blah, ready for her nap kind of thing. So I thought today, I would see if I can't bring her to life a little bit. You want that cookie? You like that cookie? Okay, whoops. You want it? You want the cookie? Hello, Tammy. I thought I'd just see if we can't somehow show you that she really is spunky. She is so cute. She loves to go outside. She loves to run outside. Okay, there you go. Um, the back door is at the very back of the house. Hi, Tracy, good to see you. And she runs to the back when it's when she has to go, she tears off. And then she likes to stay out there sometimes. And she'll, um, I'll have to go out and, and get kind of mad at her and say, you get in this house. And then she does. <laughs> and then she comes running in. So I just, Lori Mantovi, Staten Island, good to see you. So I just wanted you to know that Ellie really isn't quite as listless as you usually see her. You see she's alert now because she sees me playing with, these are her cookies, the Wellness Core cookies. They're tiny. We had to find some cookies that were little, little tiny. You can't give her too much. See how tiny they are? They're little tiny. That way she can have several and we don't feel too bad. It's way up there. Now it's way down here. I just want you to see that she really is she really is spunky and fun. <laughs> okay, good to see you. Um, so let's see, what was I going to, I feel like I was going to, oh, I have to brag. Okay, you guys, thank you for sharing. Okay, Linda, good to see you. I have to brag, you guys, our porch today, our back porch, our patio, 80 degrees, bright sun all day bright sun. Hi, Tina. And I just, I just have to say it. You know, we do have rain. We have stuff. But it is, on the whole, so beautiful to live here. So if anyone's thinking of, of moving, this is a great place to move. Polly Libby, North Carolina. Mimi, good to see you from Wichita, Kansas. Thank you, Carol. She is so darling. But you see, it is her, it really is her nap time. And that's why she she puts out that big yawn. <laughs> yes, lucky girl, she gets to sit down and take a nap, I know, in her fluffy pink bed. So anyway, all that to say, it is warm out here. We are supposed to have more rain next week, which is good, and we need it. But um, you have nice weather, Jan, 64 degrees. Good, good to hear that. Pam Simmons, good to see you. I hope you guys have nice weekends planned. It's kind of a it's kind of a mellow weekend for us. We don't have that much going on. Um, I'm really kind of getting excited about on stage in Houston, which is uh, three weeks away. Three weeks from this weekend, let's see, including this coming week, no, three weeks, 
It's the 14th through the 16th. And I know some of you are going. I really hope I can meet some of you and see some of you in Houston. Um, let me know if you're going and uh, we can make plans to meet somewhere as far as just in a corner of a, the conference room or something because I really, some of you I know are demonstrators and I really want to meet you in person after getting to know you online and I bet you kind of feel the same way too. Okay, I have things to show you. So you guys are so sweet to me to recommend products and things just like I recommend to you and then you recommend to me. Uh, Carol Schaefer, 39 degrees wet, rainy and damp in Connecticut. Yeah, I understand. I'm so glad you know each other. You're saying hi to each other. Renee, good to see you. So back to what you guys have recommended. So you, you guys recommended after I was using a, a ruler, some of you recommended this easy read ruler and I got it from Amazon. You know, I think you recommended it like Wednesday and it came already this morning and it has uh, fractions on it. So I don't have to read the little niches. It says right there, 1 16th, 1 8th and so forth. So I just got it a while ago. I'm really excited. It's called a Victor Easy Read Ruler. So I'm excited to use, to use this ruler. So thank you guys for your recommendations. And the other thing, several of you recommended this neat um, alcohol dispenser. Yes, Tracy, get it. And um, I don't know, a couple of you, I think, sent me the link to it. And this is on Amazon, too. And of course, I had to get a pink one, you know, you have to. And um, you just press on the top and the alcohol comes into your uh, paper towel or your Kleenex. And then you can clean your uh, glass mat. So I'm super excited about that. This came just a short time ago also. So I got some goodies today. It's been really fun. I'm going to put this one. I keep the alcohol kind of up out of the way so I don't you know, make a mistake. So, okay, I'm going to put Ellie down because we have some things to talk about. So it's the last week of celebration. I've been saying that and I want to make sure that you guys know that. Oh, it's in your cart, Polly. It's, it's, I mean, I just got it. I haven't really used it, but I like it already. Hi, Linda Brady. So I'm excited about that. Um, we are going to use three celebration products in our project today because I, I mentioned I'm trying to use a bunch so that you guys, hello, Beth Furbeck. It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, so that you can see and make sure you have everything you want from celebration. Um, one thing I'm going to go ahead and show you now because it's kind of large. We're going to use one sheet of it. And that is, it's one of the new items. So this is just one sheet of the paper. This is called Delightfully Eclectic. And I want you guys to look and see how fat that is. Um, I think it has 48 sheets. Let me see. 48 12 by 12 two-sided sheets on it. It is a half an inch thick. It has tons of adorable paper and I'm pretty sure it's for with a $50 order, just $50 or more. Um, Kimberly, good to see you. Cindy Reed, good to see you. And this is so much paper. So I just want to show you the size because I got an extra one. Um, it's a huge paper stack and now I'll show you let me just put that down and then I'm gonna show you just I mean I still have a bunch let me show you all that I have still I still have all of this okay check this out it's not just dark it's also light it's pretty it has, it is like it says, it's just eclectic, totally eclectic. I like this one up here. But I wanted to show you, you know, for 50, for a $50 order, you get 48 sheets of paper. And it's really, you have a pack coming, Cindy, good. It's really a great, um, it, I mean, I thought it was great when it was, when we could actually buy it. But now you can get it for free with celebration until the 29th. So if you need to make a bunch of cards or something, um, 
be sure to get that with your $50 order. I'm pretty sure it's the $50 order. And it's just great. So we're going to use a sheet from that today. And then we're going to use a couple other things I'll tell you as we go along. And then I want to remind you about the starter kit special. So you can get the glass mat with your starter kit. That's a free item during celebration. And it's only lasting until the 29th. A lot of people have said, oh, I'll wait and get it when it's regularly for sale after that. We have no idea if it's going to be for sale or not. They told us they had no idea until celebration was over and if they had any left, left, they would put them for sale. But we have no idea if they're going to have any left. So if you, it is free with the 50. Okay, good. I'm right. Thank you, Cindy. So if you want the glass mat, it's a good time to get the starter kit. $99, you get $125 in product for free and the glass mat. Or, or <laughs> you can, add, instead of the glass mat, you can get $30 more in product. So for $99, you get $155 in product. Um, and that's really a great deal. Only during celebration, normally it's hundred. It's usually, I mean, it's always a good deal. They always make the starter kit a good deal, but it's really a good deal now. And I would love to have you on my team. We have a very fun team. We, I think some of you heard that I had a party uh, last month for the local people and the people we, we did a, a card swap and those out of town could swap. And, you know, we have meetings once a month, but I call them get togethers because we do show and tell. We have all kinds of fun things. So I would love to have you on my team. Um, if you are thinking about getting the starter kit, this is the time to get it. Before the 29th is a great time to get it. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about retiring in colors. It's time to start thinking about retiring products because um, the new annual catalog begins May 1st. In case you weren't aware, it used to be a couple years ago, it was kind of in June maybe, but the new annual catalog comes out May 1st. That's just coming up. I mean, we're right, we're practically right on it. And so what I want to remind you of is, whoops, the in colors, because those are always the thing that goes first, the retiring in colors. Let me see if I can put them, I'll put them over here. There we go. Um, Starry Sky, uh, Lemon Lime, Parakeet Party, my favorite, Sweet Sorbet. I've really loved Sweet Sorbet. Orchid Oasis and Tahitian Tide. They're beautiful, bold colors. And if you want some of them, if you want the inks, the ink refills, the cardstock, anything, snag it now. Because as it gets closer and closer, you know, April, so April 30th or something will be the last day right in that area. And you'll want to get this before it's gone because they always go fast. Margaret Gordon, good to see you. Thank you, Cindy, for sharing. And Tracy, yes, I'm excited to see the new catalog and I get to see it. Those of those of you that are um, demonstrators, we get to see it at on stage coming up March 14th. I'm super excited. We'll see new in colors. We'll see the new catalog. It's going to be I love on stage because um, I get to see so many friends and people that I haven't seen, meet new people and see new products. I mean, it's it's really exciting. So, okay, those are my reminders. Are you ready to see what we're gonna make today? Let me turn you down and we will, whoops, hold on. There we go. And I'll show you what we're gonna make today. We're going to make a joyful card because I'm joyful and I just feel like making a joyful card. Tracy, you're not going to on stage. I'm sorry. I would love to meet you maybe another time. Okay. A joyful card is like a card in a card. So it opens like this. And we're going to use, like I said, three, I'll put it down here, three different uh, celebration products. 
we're using this paper and we're going to cut it together. This is from the Delightfully Eclectic, Delightfully Eclectic paper that I just showed you. We're using this stamp set, which is the beautiful dogwood stamp set. And we're using another stamp set, um, which is Softly Sophisticated. So we're just going to we're just going to have fun with celebration products and this is how beautiful they can all look together i mean and i think this card is pretty i'm going to change it up just a little bit you know sometimes when i first make it for you guys then i think oh i'll change it up so oh another thing we're we're going to use is this uh embossing folder it comes with softly sophisticated let me get these out for you to show you okay here's the detailed dogwood stamp set um, that is uh, free with a hundred dollar over order and then this is the softly sophisticated bundle this is the sentiment there hello there and these this comes together with the softly sophisticated embossing folder which I have just loved I really hope they hold it over um, because I, I hope they carry it over they every so often they carry things over and I have just loved that embossing folder. And then here's the paper we're going to use, this beautiful paper. You know what's fun about this paper? Every so often, you see a little pink heart. I don't know if you can see them from down there, but <clears throat> every so often, there's just a little pink heart in there. That makes me, that makes me happy. We're also going to use the Thoughtful Expressions dies, which are not part of Celebration. But... Um, Anyway, I just wanted to bunch all kinds of things together for us today. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll get my, oh, I wanted to show you. This is a card I made around Thanksgiving in the fall, and it's the same exact design, the Joy Fold. Just to show you what else you can do with it. Yes, Cindy, I hope they put it in the online store. So that's, that's just another look at the same card we're making today. So here's our sample again. And um, if you want to get out some paper, I'm gonna put it over here to the side as my, so I can look at it. <laughs> get out some paper and a pencil so that you can um, take notes to get the measurements if you want the measurements. Cause I, I'm getting so I don't really post the measurements on my blog. It's just kind of too much sometimes. And because I, I'm pretty busy and so um, it's easier for me if you take them down while we're doing the video. Okay, so what we're going to do, the two cards are in um, Pretty Peacock. Now I have to warn you, I went online, Pretty Peacock, the paper is out, the inks are out. I have no idea they have, they had such a run on Pretty Peacock. So. I don't know why, but um, I'm sure it'll be back soon. So um, this is the card base, and the card base is five and a half by six and a half. So this is the six and a half side, and this is the five and a half side. And so you you know that it's going to be five and a half inches tall. That's how most of our cards are. So on the six and a half inch side, we're going to go ahead and score at four and a quarter to make our first card base because the joyful card is like a card in a card okay so there's our card base like that and then we're going to score our second card the little one that opens from the right and this one is four and a quarter by six and a half still six and a half but four and a quarter high and we score this at three and one quarter. I hope I'm right. If I'm not, I'll let you know. Okay, so this is the little inside card. So this is how, just from the bare bones, this is, this is how it goes like this. And you glue this one in here and then when you open it, that little corner fits in and that's how your card works. So now what we do is we decorate it. But first, I really want to um, burnish those lines because the one thing with this card is um, because of all the different folds, it, it likes to kind of not lay flat. And I like it, well, I like it for because I take a lot of photos and I like it when they lay flat for my photos. 
Hello, Vicki Eakins from Arizona. Good to see you. What's your temperature over there today? I was telling them we're pretty warm here today. So I'm, I'm just burnishing on both sides there to really get that burnished. Okay, so there are our two card bases. Now what we're gonna do is cut, the or, or I cut, I pre-cut, the next layer. And the next layer is Lost, I'm using Lost Lagoon. So um, we're gonna put, let's set the little mini card to the side and we'll work on the bigger card. And so I'm going to put a piece of Lost Lagoon right here and this piece is um, five and a quarter by two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. Five and a quarter by two. We're gonna. We're using several layers of cardstock and designer series paper to really make the card pop. Okay, so I'm just going to open it a little bit so I can make sure to get all the edges as even as I can. Okay, and then this is going to go on the inside, and this is our standard four by five and a quarter. So let's get this down. easy so far, right? Very, it's really not a hard card to make at all, but it has a big wow. That's what I like to say when the cards are really have a big wow. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, I, I cut most of the cardstock. I cut all the cardstock, but I wanted to cut the designer series paper with you. So I want these little hearts to go in this direction. Um, from you know the hearts with their little uh, points at the bottom. So of the designer series paper, I'm going to cut the first piece for that side panel, um, one and three quarters wide. Let me get my cutting blade here. And five inches um, long or tall whatever you want to say. And then for the inside, we're going to cut at uh, three, three and three quarters. I'm going to do it different and I'll show you how, how I'm doing it different here. By five. So three and three quarters by five is the inside piece. And then we're going to have a little piece on the inside like this. See that little piece? It just looks cute. And that is um, two and three quarters by one half. So two and three quarters by just a little tiny half an inch. I think that's a half right there. Okay. I'll set these aside in case I maybe cut wrong or anything. Alrighty. Now let's get our card back. So on the sample card, um, what I did is I embossed this piece here, this back piece. And then I uh, did the blender brushes. Directional paper is always a challenge. Yes, Carol, I know. <laughs> So um, I embossed with the, that softly sophisticated embossing folder, and then I did the blending brush but I, with the pretty peacock. But I kind of blurped it a little bit, which I didn't like. I don't like it when I, you know, anyway. So I thought to be different, we would put instead of that embossed piece, we would put this, uh, another piece of the pretty designer series paper in there just to be different, you know, just to try something else. Just to show you that it's another way to do things. I'm putting some extra glue there because the little mini card, the, the inside card is adhering to this. And so I wanna make sure it's glued down nice and strong. Okay. And then we have this panel that goes right over here. So I like that, I think that's nice. 
And you know, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day to use hearts. We know that, especially pretty peacock hearts. Here we go. We'll just put that right in there. So we've got a lot of the card made already. That is the main card base. And now we pretty much just work with the, with the little um, second card. So here is the second card. And it's going to be glued right on top of this, okay? So what we're gonna do here, what are we gonna do here? Oh, yes. Hmm. I thought I am, I thought I went ahead and I guess me, oh, I guess I didn't. I didn't, I was gonna show you. We are going to emboss that piece. So on this front, we have a piece of Lost Lagoon, whoops, that's embossed with the pretty folder. That's why I didn't mind kind of not embossing that one. Okay, so here's our machine. I have to get the big one for the embossing. And here's our um, embossing plate. I thought I had that little piece of Lost Lagoon cut somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Yes. Here's our piece, a piece of Lost Lagoon. And the embossing folder is here. And the base plate is here. Okay. <laughs> that took me a minute to find. Okay. So when you're embossing a 3D embossing folder, which this one is, it's the Softly Sophisticated 3D embossing folder, we have to um, make sure to use the gray embossing plate. Whether you're using the mini stamp and cut and emboss or the large full size stamp and cut and emboss. Okay, so let's run that through. You know I call this guy Mr. Smooth because he's so smooth meaning it's so easy to run things through. It really is. And I'll show you how pretty this comes out. Look at that. I don't know if you can really see all the indentations, but it re I'll put it at an angle. Isn't that just so pretty? I just love that. Okay, we'll set this down for a minute. So what we're gonna do here is, um, here's our little card. And this embossed piece is going to go right on the front of it because remember it opens to the right. It's a little counterintuitive, so you have to think a minute about that. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down on the front. And this will be the background for our pretty dogwood flowers. Okay, just like that. And we'll set this aside. Let me pull that down just a hair. And then we'll set this aside. Oh no, we have to put a little, we might as well do this now. We're gonna, so this piece is three by four. This piece of Lost Lagoon, Lagoon is three by four. And we're gonna put a, let's see, I hope I use the right one. We're gonna put another piece of Lost Lagoon, three by four, right inside. And then we're going to put the white piece inside there for us to write on. So we might as well get all that done. This is just kind of the lining, the, all the layers that I mentioned. Yes, Cindy. Yes, make a couple tonight. They're, they're really not hard. It's basically you make two cards and you just kind of put them together. And so this is the piece of um, basic white. And so if the other one is three by four, this one is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we'll just put that right on top there. Let's see if we can get all the sides approximately equal. And then here's our little strip that we cut of the designer series paper, one by two and three quarters, just to put at the bottom. I just think that adds a little cuteness factor, especially because it's the little hearts. And plus it gives a little more, a little touch of the pretty peacock on the inside. Just like that. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Isn't that cute when you open to write inside? And now all we have to do is do our dogwood piece. So we are ready to go ahead and 
and adhere the small card inside the um, the larger card. And so what happens is once you glue it, you open this and that fits inside and that's how it looks. So the main thing we have to do when gluing, we have to pay attention and get it right in the center. So it's the same on all sides. These two sides are the same distance as these two sides. So that's why I said I wanted to get this glued down nice and firm. So we're ready to glue this part down and I feel the same way. I want to get it I don't usually put glue on the, I usually just put it on the edges. And remember your card's opening the reverse side from left to right. And we'll just see if we can get it centered just like that. Now I'm just gonna press down a little bit. And then we'll set that aside to dry. Look at that, isn't that cute? And now we're just gonna decorate. So I'm going to set this aside to dry while I, while we make our pretty dogwood. And let's take a look again at that dogwood set. Let me see where it is. There's a Softly Sophisticated that we're using the sentiment from. But here's this beautiful dogwood set. I am crazy, crazy about this flower. I just really am. And I'm going to show you a cute way to color it. So I'm going to stamp it in Lost Lagoon. Here it is. It's on um, an e-block. It takes kind of a large block. Thank you guys. It's just fun. I love the joy fold. And I, I saw that sample and I thought, oh, that's what we're going to make today. Okay. So Lost Lagoon ink. And we're going to cut this with a, a die so it doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and color it first. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, truthfully, you do not even have to color it. You really don't. But I'm going to. Anyway. Dogwood is the state flower of Virginia. Oh, hi, Peggy. Um, interesting. I used to live in Virginia when I was in high school. I went a couple years of high school back there. Okay, so you wouldn't think it, but I'm going to color it in with a dark, soft sea foam stamp and blend. And I'm not even going to press that hard. I'm just going to lightly get some color in there. Because the uh, Pretty Peacock is very dark. And so I wanted to lighten it up. And I wanted to, st I wanted to stay with our kind of our color combo is the greens. So we've got actually four flowers here. We've got this bud, here's a little bud, and here's a little partially opening flower right here, like that. You have to kind of look close. I'm getting my head way down there to look in. Don't look at my roots, okay? And then here's the larger flower. And again, not you don't have to be real picky try not to go outside the line of the petals but basically you just kind of lightly color there I mean they always say people say oh we have so many flowers Stampin' Up has so many flowers but you know I do think we have a lot of flowers but on the other side of the coin I love the flowers and they come out with new flowers and I'm just like a new flower I love it <clears throat> So what can you say? Okay, I'm using here dark lemon lolly for the flower centers. It kind of just brings a little, a little contrast in there. And then I'm going to do a fun thing for the leaves that I'm going to teach you. So I am using light pretty peacock for the leaves. So all that veining and everything, you're not going to really see it after I do this. I'm not pressing heavily, I'm pressing lightly. And I'm just coloring in. And I'll show you what I'm going to do afterward that makes it look a little fun. So just the leaves. You know, I did this and I thought, oh, that's kind of dark. And so I lightened it. And I bet some of you can guess what I lightened it with. 
Let me see if you can guess. Your BC flower, province flower is dogwood. Oh, that's neat. That's very neat. It's also, this pretty peacock blend is also just a little bit lighter when it dries, so you can know that. So who can guess how I, how I lightened it, what little treatment I gave it? Let me see, are you thinking? I'm waiting while I'm coloring. I'm looking to see if you, if anybody has a comment about that. Because I looked at it and I thought, okay, this is just too dark. How are we going to lighten those leaves up a little bit? But yet I like the contrast of the dark. Color remover, color lifter, you got it. I knew you guys would. I knew you would. And I'll show you in just a second how, how neat that looks, what that does. Okay, I just have a few more little leaves here. This is a little leaf right there. I hope you can I hope you can see what I'm doing but I do have to get my head down there because just to get those little leaf tips and then we're good oops I went out a little bit okay so if you go out a little bit I'm just enlarging the leaf and I don't think anybody will really notice you didn't see any mistakes on the sample card did you no Really, you don't notice them. Nobody notices them but you. That's, they're just the stamper secrets. And we are never telling, never, never tell our stamper secrets. Okay, so now let's get our white color lifter. And you can use either the pointed or the brush end. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try the pointed because I kind of wore out my brush end. And I'm just going to go in and lift some of that color. And it really makes, I think, kind of a neat look. More so in the center. You see the difference? Isn't that kind of neat? Can you see that? And just go on every leaf that you colored with the... It was actually light, pretty peacock. So it really is, it's a dark color. But when you go in and you just use this color lifter, it gives a, a neat little shading that helps lighten it and just gives kind of a neat look to our flower bouquet. Whoops. Just do it a little bit on each leaf. And every leaf is now a little different. Let's see, maybe a little lifting right in there. What do you think? Isn't that cool? I like it. I really do. I think it I think it's fun. I think it makes a fun difference. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut this with one of those thoughtful expressions um, dies with that particular one there. So let me get my plates fixed up here. For the stamp and cut and emboss machine and we'll bring it back up okay here we go and I even have new plates for you guys can you see that they're brand new are those gorgeous I mean we hardly ever get new plates right well I mean I do but not all that often and they it's always so fun um, yeah they look kind of variegated I agree so you're not going to get the whole flower in there, but you can get a large part of it. And then I want to leave some area up here because we're going to put our sentiment right up there. So there we go. And let's just cut that. the so last we need to use the machine and look how pretty that looks oh, it's kind of stuck on that brand new plate wow okay so here is our beautiful flower that's going to go right on here and now we're going to use this gorgeous ribbon I don't know how many of you have ever have gotten this ribbon I'm crazy about it. It's called um, 
metallic ribbon, pretty peacock and gold metallic ribbon. I checked before we came on and it is available. And you could definitely tie a knot, but I want to make a really pretty bow. Kind of a smallish bow, but I just think it's so pretty and I think it looks really pretty with this card. See that gold? See that? Can you see that gold sparkling? Let me put that over just a little bit. Can you see the gold? It's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tie the bow and then I'm going to move the ribbon where I want it, place it where I want it on the on the piece here. Kind of like this. Okay, we're just going to tie our bow. Oh, I love this stuff. I, I don't think it's, you know, sometimes I like to cut the ribbon in half. You guys have seen this lengthwise. I've done it with you. I don't think this is a good one to do that. I think it would fall apart. I really do. I think it would really just fall apart because it's pretty woven. It's like a woven ribbon. Do any of you have this ribbon? Oh, thank you, Cindy. Um, I'd like to know if any of you have it. I, I was trying to remember, I looked it up online to make sure we have it, and it didn't say whether it was an online exclusive or whether it's in the, in the Spring Mini catalog. I'm thinking it's in the Spring Mini, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there we go. And now we'll pull our little ends down. Pull it just a bit tighter. And now we can move it down so that flower shows. And we can move it over a little bit to the right, maybe. Okay, and now we're ready to put it on right there. We could even move it down a teeny bit more. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I'm going to use uh, dimensionals to put this on. So let's, let's see, we can get one dimensional on the bottom here. And then we'll put, uh, I don't know, for this I kind of want to put a lot because I want it to really stick on there. So I'm going to put five. I don't know what you guys think, but we could probably do with just two, but I just feel like five today. So let me see. Maybe I want to, I want that flower to show. Okay, now the trick is to get it pretty even on here from side to side and top to bottom. Okay, just like that. And I do like long tails, but we don't want them too long. So let's kind of just do this. Just for now, sometimes I change my mind and I shorten them. Now what we need to do is do our um, sentiment. Huh, I thought I had a little piece of paper for a sentiment. I guess we can, I guess we'll just, we can go ahead and stamp right on my, my piece that I die cut from. And this is our sentiment from the Softly Sophisticated set. Hello there. And this is Pretty Peacock Ink because we want our sentiment to look nice and kind of bold. And then I'm just going to fussy cut this all around. I, I tried a few dies and everything looked too big for this delicate sweet little dogwood flower. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, just fussy cut right around it. You know just any way I want to. I don't know how you guys feel about this but I do like fussy cutting and so I just kind of make some little curves like that. And then come back come back in here. The one thing I like about doing a sentiment this way is that it can fit in a smaller space than if it was cut with a label die if you don't have a lot of room and that's the case here. We don't really have a ton of room for a sentiment. So I'm just going to put it on like that. Let me get one more little dimensional. I'm just going to use one on the behind the word there 
because I want it to hang off. And just curl it a little bit. So it's going to say hello there, just like that. And now we need to add our bling. We can't forget our bling. Thank you, guys. Less is more. <laughs> So, you know, these Blooming Pearls, I, I, can't, I just can't say enough about them. I am crazy about the Blooming Pearls. And I'm going to use these pretty peacock ones that I just think are so pretty. They go beautifully with this card. I'll put, oh, I, that was out of the view. I'm sorry. And let's just put three of these little cuties on here. We'll put one. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, there we go. Isn't that just sweet? I just think that's such a sweet card. And there you open the inside. Now on my envelope, I'm not going to take time now because I want to give a prize, but I went ahead and stamped the dogwood on, on the envelope. So this is what your card and envelope will look like. Aren't those so pretty? Just, you know, it's the dogwood stamp set. I'm telling you, I love that dogwood stamp set. Okay, let's come up and we'll give away a prize. Thanks for sticking with me. That was a little tiny bit longer than usual, but I wanted to show you that joy fold card because I like it so much. Okay, um, the prize for, for this week is the card that we made last week, which we all really liked the colors. I did, and I think some of you did too, the orange and blue. And the winner is Brenda B4389 from YouTube, and I'm pretty sure this is Brenda Bailey. And um, I, I will contact her, and Brenda, if you see this, go ahead and contact me to confirm that that's you and confirm your address so I can get this out to you. Now for next week, um, the prize is going to be a, uh, bag full of sponge daubers. We all need sponge daubers, right? And I was actually thinking of it when I was, um, you know, kind of putting ink on that first sample that I had. And you just can't ever have enough new sponge daubers. So this is the prize for next week. And if you put the word prize today, you'll be entered to win. And um, so that's our fun project for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Make some cards. Um, move to San Diego where it's so gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, 80 degrees. It, it's just been so pretty today. It really has. So um, love you guys. I'll see you next week. Okay.